Okay, so at this stage, I'm getting to the point where I need some kind of unifying system of identifying particular elements, whether they be models, meshes, entities, systems, what have you. Uh, right now, I'm just con like everything I'm bringing in manually. I'm also like retrieving manually through like poor systems. Now I kind of have something going along for like the, a lot of graphics things, those graphics handles, those arbitrary, which are basically loose representations of addresses to go to backend objects. But I need some unifying large type, well, ID system for that is not a representation of um, addresses for like transient data, data that's temporary or like something that you would load in and then is does not rely on being a particular address. Like you need to unify, let's say, a physics model or the physics representation of something with a mod, with a graphics representation of something along with some other arbitrary data. And you can't use addresses for each of those things you want to like the all three of those objects be represented by a single id that all represent like the same object so what i'm going to follow on and like i'm not even going to go into the the nonsense of like what an ecs is like an entity component system and you can find i gobs worth of uh information by other people who can explain it better but what i'm going to do is i'm going to start implementing uh that into my little uh project here and of course the first part of that is of course i need uh the actual library to exist so ecs mm, we need a source we'll take this um we'll just take the basic i guess this please thank you very much do I need this? No, I do not. Do that. Use like that. Don't need that. Okay. Mm, not yet. Subdirectory. Okay. There's nothing there. Uh, so the first thing we're going to need is just the entity ID. This is going to be the very basic unit, which is going to be either a UN32 or UN64, which will be a UN32 to start with, because I don't actually have a requirement for the much lar for a larger uh, larger type right now, anyways. But it can be updated. I'm going to make it so that they're all type defined, so it's very easy to modify them. Um, uh, do I need to? I don't think I need to. Type def un32t. So it means I need at least. Uh, Also go full. Uh, there'll be two types. There'll be like a group ID and type def for entity ID um, base ID. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to split the UN32 into two portions. So let's say I have uh, let's just say one, two, three, four, five, six. We have a four large, let's say it's just a half, you know, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm going to split the meaning of a UN32 along two portions. This will also allow, this allows me to kind of put more information into the one ID type, the one ID four bytes that I have. So let's say I'll say like, you know, the uh, these three bytes would be like the group ID. 
And then, then the bytes after this would be the index ID. So I'll be able to like have up to, I don't know, a couple, up to maybe a, on a UN32, if I have like eight bytes of a group ID, it'll be like a million ish inde indexes within a group. So I can have a thousand, a million specific entities within a group, when a, within a particular group. And like if I have eight, that'd be like 256 groups. Uh, so it'll allow me to somewhat segment data, like let's say segment data by like, I don't know, large like region, area region or something like that, or like a specific type. Or, may, or maybe I can say groups are like particularly loaded data files. Like I can say uh, the first group is like model data, mo you know, model information data that's loaded in. And then the second group is like texture data and IDs in them. And then, ah, I'll figure it out later. <laughs> I have a rough idea what I want to do with this. I just don't really know precisely what to do. So obviously you can do comparisons. We'll have to have, I don't know, a type. we'll have to define some things. So, well, can I do like a const expression maybe? Or enum int 32t. So let's say I have, okay, so yeah, I need C++ if I want to actually have this type, like numerical limits. So I'm going to need the limits type. Declaration does not declare anything. That's fine. Um, we'll have... equals a static cast of un32 t of standard numeric limits the digits this is the number of digits we have available so that's the number of bits so on a 32 it'll be well 32 it should be 32 anyways um, by eight, right? It's divided by eight. Don't no need for fancy stuff. And then we'll have like the number of group bits. So yes, group num group bits equals let's say four will give us sixteen. Five will thirty two. Okay, we'll just start with four. Info ECS index bits. Will equal uh, num bits minus that. God, my input's not having it today, is it? Oh boy. Nope. Bytes. F 
repo index rb. Okay. Um, which I will inherit from that type up there. So I can I can I do using using this equals that. Oh, come on. Nope, nope not quite. Down here we'll have a number of items such as uh, the invalid. There'll be like a particular invalid type, which will be like the max value, I guess. Rather than being zero, maximum value of that. We'll have so this will be Over by um, dex bits, so this will be shifted all the way, all the way to the left. And there's a chance if I move, if I upgraded the UN64 later, then I can also have, have way more bits to play with. Maybe even there'll be a second layer of like a second dairy group ID or something. I don't know. It's there's it's it's flexible. I think. Shift it over by um, group bits. value well start with the group actually put it up here actually It'll be that minus one. Or for this yes. No, a group can be up to the maximum. It's the index that we can't have at the maximum. Because otherwise it'll overflow into groups. Yeah. When tracking these things and reciting them. Okay.
Hmm. My next group value would just be to the right. Shift it over to the right. Yes, yes, yes. Valid ID. So it's like the, if it was 255, like old, old uh, sorry, 16 shifted all the way to the right, it'll be 16 rather than the huge number it would actually be. So be, this is like the normalized value. So that if we hit the maximum index value, then we stop making new ones right then and there, rather than act, at, even coming close to attempting to overflow, I imagine. And then we just say, On a per group basis, I need to be able to generate fresh ID, like unique IDs, unused IDs. So let's try this out. So we can have, let's say, the name of, of a group. So it, this is on a per group basis. Do I want to index generate? Do even care about the group? The name, the name of the group? No, but we do want to find group ID. This will be like, so everyone that's generated out of this will have this appended or affixed to it. Why is it not? Probably because there's no source file. Of course, add it to here, foe, like that. How does it build? Does not exist right now. That is true. Turn off the test for the moment, please. OK. OK. Group ID. Be 
managed. We need mutex. Let's turn email off. We'll need the ability to synchron. We'll, so we'll need the ability to once an entity has been used and removed and discarded, no longer exists in the system. I need an ability to recycle that ID. I don't want to just keep going like a database until we reach the end. So that means I need the ability to. Um, so this will be for that. So, uh, Q type. I guess that'll work. Yeah, I'll leave it as a queue for the moment. Recycled. Index ID? Base ID, sorry. Base, index. Hmm. So when we create this, We'll need like the group. We need to have the group ID that we start with. Destruction. Do we want copies? Delete moves. I can't imagine we would want copies of this. So we'll do this. Uh, actually, we won't even have to bother about that because we have uh, mutex, so that automatically deletes them for me. Generate. This is where we generate a fresh one. together number recyclable I won't even remember quite yet uh, but we do want to return that at least so let's put this um, the right Starts off at zero. There's nothing else really to put in here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 
So technically this should be like C because this is basically a const. When we, when we start up. Okay, so we're generating the IDs. Start of that. And of course, we actually need to have the current entity. Would we? We need like an atomic type. Zero will first always try to get a recycled ID. C group ID or with the recycled the front one of that. Say minus minus I'm recycled. We got to do a check to see if and next ID equals greater or equal to valid index ID. Then we've got to like. ID just by de straight by default. Could be a catastrophic uh, failure. Turn hmm. Okay, then if we're down here, we gotta do I could do that pretty easily. So just return free one and entity. And we can do it on this list instead. So or I could just
go through them all. Uh, I need to see if or um, I need some basic functions. functions which means I do need to include the export In actually, no, you, you know what? These could be just in line. They're so small, I'd rather actually have them in line. ID or it's greater than or equal to that that also means it's not quite um, come on let me just select that let's return false we go through we validate that they're all good Actually, we could just use that now, can't we? Since it's already on the thing. Or 
actually, you know what? No, 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 no. Yes. Okay. Um, this is probably something I can easily test as well, isn't it? Let me do test. Okay, my keyboard is just not playing nice with me. Actually, before, there are some groups I want to predefine. So, let's copy this again. Uh, sorry, let me send def. These basically are the same as const expression almost. They just compile out. You know what I'll do? No, I won't. have two groups that I can imagine that I can think of there's entities that session Preserved. So the current session. Shifted over by for ECS num index bits. Um, we'll have basically temporary will be close to the same, but it will actually just be the last. So max group value shifted over by that many times. Uh, 
There'll probably be some others soon. Then we'll have which will basically be this. So what's going to happen is we are going to have three sets of indexers. So Starts off with that. Temporary. And then like an array of, uh, I cannot, I don't have moving, I, these guys can't move. So 40 pointers. the max general groups so we'll need some things can't be const pointer so we can return these two System group. It's not a cost. Oh, come on. No, except. We'll have. What is this? Similar thing. But you pass in group ID. Except I'll have the ability to add and remove groups. Specific. No, we don't need a destructor because these guys will be destroyed properly. We need pointers now. Group. Music is not 
really what I'm looking for right now. Is that one? No. Yeah, this will work. Okay. Mm, all right. I need to what? I need to normalize this value. I need to normalize the group value, which means we return that shift it over by this numbits 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 yes hmm you may want to capitalize the D I don't really use it like that. Anyways, um, get the normalized group ID, which is that. Then we then we return m groups times. Which may be null pointer. <clears throat> Get that. Um. This is a very rare function. So if group, okay, get. You know what? No, I'm just not even going to care. If you try to delete one of the ones that are above outside the array, then, you know, no problem. No problem whatsoever. Reset pointer. Bam. I'm going to add more stuff later.
Normalize group ID. Go, go, go. Get that. First of all, make sure it's not the temporary or persistent one. Well, greater than or equal to max general groups. Return false. Do if there's already a group there. So if if M groups normalize group no pointer and false. Um, don't want to duplicate group name actually. I don't even have group names yet though. Do I want no? Move that. Okay, so we'll be able to like pool all the groups together, get their. Uh, Index indices and stuff back out. I wonder how. Hmm. Oh, perhaps it would actually help if A B C D E F G H I groups plus C P D. Okay. Anything else I want to do with this at this point? Not particularly. So then I can focus on tests, which I'll do offline to save everyone the trouble of me of being bored or more bored than usual. I should say. OK, so in the going around and making adding tests and stuff, I came upon the requirement that Something that's going to happen with these indices is I'm going to have to a save the state of like what's next and what's recycled and stuff. Uh, like so, exporting of course when you're saving to the state session state to a file, and then you need to re-import it. Like even if it's in the same like program application run, you need to be able to save and then reload basically uh, halfway through. So I need these extra functions to import and export state. Um, <clears throat> so let's uh, put it at the bottom here. Yes. Port state, let's get all this stuff. Be a vector of recycled, I guess, for the moment. Actually, probably not. I can probably do a count, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, no, that's an out. Whoops. Hmm. You know what? I'll just make it easier. Just do this. We'll go back to this. <laughs> I can do more fancy stuff later if I want to. Uh, 
Um, yeah, okay. Of course, I need to synchronize the thing so no state changes occur at this time. Um, I need to go through so auto hmm. I got to go through clear the old list. That's it for that. And we want to do from export state that on the opposite side when we're coming back out. So same thing, we need to lock it. Can't really do that. Because I'm emptying out the whole list. I need to go empty out the whole list in order to read them all. So I'll make a copy of it. Then I can just lock and unlock. Like that. Or something like that. Lock dot. Okay, whatever, whatever. I'm not even gonna bother then. And then we gotta go. Go through them all in that. Okay. And now I'll go back to adding tests for the damn thing. And another thing that I'm going I'm adding is names to uh, the entity uh, index generators for groups and they're attached to the group so that when I save it back out then I know like what the name of the group was which will be useful for determining dependencies because certain entity groups will be dependent on others so I need to have the name so I know like the group will be derived from the f file name I'm pretty sure is how I'm going to work it anyways yeah Another little addendum. 
Okay, and to go along with group uh, names, I need to, first of all, I need to be able to retrieve groups via the group name, and I'll also have to add a check onto when I'm adding a group so that I do not get duplicate names. That's a no, that's a no-no. Can't have that. And I gotta update the test I already created for that. Ugh. Do 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 do. All right, so what do we want to do? Auto group, get ID. Um, Otherwise, I need to go through them all. If they're not null pointer, check. Otherwise, <clears throat> I'm trying that. So, It's a slower, much slower process, but again, this is a pretty rare operation, so I can work with that. And then I need to basically do the same thing here. Add group. I'm not going to bother with synchronizing this group. S system, right? I don't really think it's necessary. It's such a rare... It'll be... Hmm, it'll be safe. We're not doing it on the fly. We're doing it... Uh, very rare amount of times. Okay, back to tests. All right, uh, I've got the tests done, seemingly. I need to double check what... Um, I don't have code coverage on, do I? Okay, let's rerun that. Yeah, let's open that up. Let's open up Chromium. Where are you going to pop up? You're going to pop up over there. Good, 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 good. Build. I haven't actually done some, t uh, added some tests for a while because uh, most of it was the graphics, which basically meant I, and I don't have graphical uh, machine, test machines, I have uh, graphics environments. Uh, build data, no, no, not data. Where is this? Test info. CS, right? Yeah. There we go. CCOV. Takes a little while. And what we got? Yeah. Check against duplicate names. Moving of groups. Hmm. 
Hmm. Oh boy, it's just taking a little while. Yay! Let's open that up in that. Hey, well, isn't this a Christmas miracle? It's whoops. Full coverage. Amazingly. I'll take it. So I'll call it there. Ah, I know this wasn't a very detailed thing, but whatever. It's there. Um, I'm happy. Cheers.